either. After this lesson, you should be able to locate and order real numbers using the number line. But first, what is a real number? Real numbers are made up of rational and irrational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written as a fraction. Included are natural numbers such as 1, 2, 3, and so on. Whole numbers, which include the natural numbers and 0. Then, there are integers, which include whole numbers and their negative counterparts. Lastly, there are other numbers that can be written as fractions such as 1 half, 4 and 12 hundredths, 52 percent, and the square root of 9. On the other hand, irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as a fraction. The decimals of these numbers will go on forever without repeating. These are numbers such as 6.1342258 and so on, the square root of 15 and other roots of non-perfect squares and cubes, and pi. To be able to order real numbers, we will first take a look at locating irrational numbers on the number line. If we can find a number on a number line, we can put them in order. Let's place the square root of 21 and 2.872 and so on on the number line. In order to place the square root of 21 on the number line, we must approximate its value with a rational number, or a number whose decimal terminates. The square root of 21 to the nearest tenth is 4.6. This is just slightly over halfway between 4 and 5, and so we will place it here on the number line. 2.872 and so on to the nearest tenth is 2.9, and we can place it here on the number line. Good! Let's try some more difficult numbers, such as the cube root of 31 and the square root of 10. For this example, we will approximate each number by truncating it to two decimal places. To truncate a decimal means to drop off all decimal places after a certain place value without rounding. So let's see. The cube root of 31, truncated to two decimal places, is 3.14. The square root of 10, truncated to two decimal places, is 3.16. Since these decimals are so close to one another, it's going to be helpful to enlarge the number line between 3 and 4. We can divide this part of the number line into tenths. However, notice that these two numbers have the same digit in the tenths place. Let's go ahead and enlarge the number line again between 3.1 and 3.2. We can divide this into hundredths. Great! Now we can easily place the cube root of 31 and the square root of 10 where they belong. Okay, now that we have a feel for locating irrational numbers, it's time to try to put them in order. We'll put in order some real numbers, that is, both rational and irrational numbers. Take a look at the following real numbers. Let's go through and make sure everything is in decimal form. Using my calculator, I see that the square root of 19 is approximately 4.36. For this number, I just decided to round, since the other numbers are not very close to it. 4 and 1 third is approximately 4.33. Okay, so let's go ahead and place these numbers on the number line. We will place 2 and 5 tenths halfway between 2 and 3. We can place 1.8 repeating right about here. The square root of 19 we will place just before the halfway mark between 4 and 5. And since 4 and 33 hundredths is less than 4 and 36 hundredths, we will place 4 and 1 third just about here. Great, now we can easily write the numbers in order. 1.8 repeating, 2.5, 4 and 1 third, and the square root of 19. Take a moment to order the numbers below. Use the number line to make sure you're on the right track. Okay, first you should have gone through and found or approximated the decimal of the numbers when necessary. Now we can place them appropriately on the number line. After placing them on the number line, 
we can see that the correct order of the numbers is 6.7813 repeating, the square root of 50, 7.2 repeating, and 9 and 3 eighths. Good job. Let's take one final look at the strategy we use to order real numbers. First, we turn every number into a decimal. Then, we round or truncate the numbers. Third, we place the numbers on a number line and enlarge the number line as necessary. And lastly, we put the numbers in order. Thank you.